a flavoring romance. Morgan Swanson was a mid-thirties man, tall, dark, and handsome, well-built with a kind smile. He worked hard on his farm every day. The farm was named Maple Grove Farm for the number of maple trees that grew down the lane. Morgan had never been courting as his mother, Mrs. Swanson, had scared the women of the community away. In town, if a lady talked to Morgan, she would glare them down with a nasty glare. She didn't want another woman near her kitchen or on her farm. Mrs. Swanson had died six months ago in her sleep. She rose every morning to make porridge for Morgan at 7 a.m. Morgan had come into the house to find the grandfather clock chiming and his mother lying dead in her bed. A peaceful way to go. Morgan had always been a fussy eater and now had been cooking six months for himself. This particular morning, he complained as he came in from the bar and had to make porridge. It was lumpy and not as flavorful as his mother's. Something needs to be done, he grumbled. He couldn't carry on like this. The snowy day was perfect to hitch up his sleigh and get supplies in town. There at the general store, he saw Fred Barber, the storekeeper. Morgan complained to Fred. He couldn't eat like this any longer. Fred had a great idea. Morgan could advertise in the town's newspaper for a cook, and Fred would even write the ad for him. Seeking cook for eligible bachelor. Apply at Maple Grove Farm. Cooking trial required. Mrs. Sarah Stewart was the very first to apply. A widow with ten children, she saw this as a great opportunity. She knew that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, and she was determined to have a father for her youngins. Morgan was appalled. Her food was tasteless, bland, and nothing like his mother's. Mrs. Sarah Stewart was set on her way. Mary Thompson, a quiet and pretty girl who lived a few roads over, decided to try for the position. She put a basket together of ingredients, including Windsor table salt, and set off for Maple Grove Farm. She boiled the water for the porridge and added a pinch of Windsor table salt to the water. To her meatloaf, she added a teaspoon of Windsor table salt, and to her cookie batter, a half a teaspoon of Windsor table salt. Morgan was impressed. Why, her food tasted delicious. He even was engaging her in conversation and made her laugh while she ate. Morgan was smitten. Mary had always been quiet, but she was a good listener and observer, and she had heard through the small town gossips that Mrs. Swanson always used Windsor table salt in all of her cooking.